World-renowned gynecologist and Nobel Prize laureate Dr. Dennis Mkwege says stories and allegations of wartime rape coming out of Ukraine resemble those in Ethiopia's Tigray region and his home country of the Democratic Republic of Congo. Mkwege runs the Pansy Hospital and Foundation, which he founded in his childhood hometown of Bukavu in eastern DRC. He and his team have treated tens of thousands of survivors of sexual violence. Mkwege is touring the United States States to promote his memoir, which brings attention to his work treating women with injuries and trauma from wartime rape. Hedy Adams, host of Straight Talk Africa, recently spoke to Dr. Mkwege about his work in his new book. This book is the result of my 25 years working with women in a conflict area in the Republic Democratic of Congo in Panzi Hospital. And uh, what I could witness with, uh, in treating women is really that women are strong. And uh, I can see that the resilience of women is really out of all the things that we can imagine. When I receive them after to be raped with extreme violence, and when I say extreme violence, it means that some of them are coming at the hospital with all their genitals destroyed, they have wounded in a very, very bad way. But when women stand up after to be treated, they didn't stand for themselves. They are standing for them and for their children, for the family. And for me, this is really wonderful. If the society can't protect them, but when they got healing and stand up, they stand up and raise a voice, they voice for all the community. This for me is wonderful and I think that I just feel that I should really, really do a testimony about uh, my journey and show how women are strong, even if sometime uh, our system and patriarchal system won't just uh, to silence them. Dr. McQuaggy, when you hear stories and allegations of um, sexual violence against women during a time of conflict coming out of places like Ethiopia's Tigray region or Ukraine. What is your message to the international community about listening to those voices and those stories early on? Before this war or starting, that started in, in February, our team was already in contact with women in Donbass who were raped in uh, 2000. Uh, 14, when uh, Russia invaded for the first time Ukraine. So what happened in Ukraine now, it happened uh, some years ago, and our team were already in contact with women of Ukraine. I'm so touched to see that the international community can react very fast and put all the means. It's really how the international community should react in each conflict because the suffering is universal. And the reaction against the suffering or to take care of the suffering people should be also universal. And I think that the case of Ukraine show us that if when there is a willing, we have capacity to stop atrocities. And this is a good example to say, we can do the same in Ethiopia. We can do the same in Yemen, in, in Democratic Republic of Congo, and everywhere, just to, to think that we are sharing the same humanity. And when something like that, someone just decide to uh, make uh, another people, put another people in, in suffering, we have to react and stop it.